Dear like, pronouns, the it's me, was... your boy Jedi. Jedi, Jedi, Jedi. We was cool, Jedi. Jedi. <laughs> yeah. What about Shingo? Hurt what about Shingo? What about Shingo? <laughs> what about Shingo? <laughs> we have big box set DVDs. I paid thirty dollars for two episodes of anime, and we liked it. In 1969, the first man stepped on the moon. Yes, <laughs> that song, which I hate. Fake fan, fun. fake fan alert. In Japan, it aired in 1992. The biggest action show in 25 years. A pitch to bring Sailor Moon to North America. Known as Saban Moon. Before I learned about Beautiful Joe, and should have gone up there. No, 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 no. But I don't understand one thing. The panty shot. If you keep your grades on his face, can you be beautiful? Well, I like him. Thick, says Mitoki. Uh, Shut uh, the fuck up, she gets the holy <laughs> okay. okay, guys. <laughs> what? You poor, poor editor. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pretty Guardian Podcast. Hi. I'm Kelly, and we are watching Sailor Moon. <laughs> What's that face for, Harrison? Yeah, I, I just... was going to say hello, but then she kept talking. I was just going to say a quick hi, uh, and, I saw, uh, and then I started uh, talking, and you kept talking. It's like, hey, <laughs> Okay. Anyways, yeah, we're watching Sailor Moon. <laughs> Thanks, Jupiter. <laughs> we're at the first season, episode 13. We yes. have... Uh, Harrison? Harrison. Michael. <laughs> James. And James. Oh, you didn't do okay, we're all asking our names like questions. <laughs> oh, is that a... <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's kind of why I, I was following you. <laughs> oh, don't... Don't. <laughs> I'm a failure. Moving on. Uh, My face is really warm. Episode 13, you say? Yes. That's a significant number. It is. And it's a part of a downer. P- p- pretty and uh, an unlucky um, number. Yeah. yeah it's not this, a spoiler because this, of the title. I know. This episode is called Girls Unite, The End of Jedi. Or the English title is Fight to the Finish. Girls Unite so, uh, and Jedi, that rocks. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer getting saying goodbye to Jedi so early on. I you, you know I'm gonna have like a like a twitch reaction the next time I see like a single cell tweet like they're just translating <laughs> across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Only two ever did it, and one, the first, Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> never forget the original. Never, never forget. <laughs> first cell step. <laughs> They'll so, step in all over and the screen right, and our right hearts. Right in front of Sailor Moon, to her face. Yeah. To her face. <laughs> that was what, the DJ episode, I think? Yeah, yeah, it was the DJ episode. Hmm. Yep. So this episode aired in Japan on June 6, 1992, and in the U.S. September 12th, 1995. Alrighty. Oh, man. So, it's okay, so, so we know it's the end of Jedi. Yeah, we know, okay. I'm not going to mince words. It's a it's a show like I've seen the way this form this show goes. Oh yeah, he's gonna get iced. It's probably yeah. gonna be per, for good. <laughs> Interesting, you use the word ice. Put that in your pocket for an eternity. God, see, no, you say that about every every now and then. You just say that. I'm gonna bring back one of those. You should. I because I said you once told me to put in my pocket like well something Je- Jedi in a police officer's uniform. Oh, yes, I said I said he used to, I said he used to be a cop. Away. I said one of his peers' jobs he used to be a cop, and I said put a pin in that because you can't keep that in your pocket; it'll go bad. Yeah. And, and that's gonna be hundreds of episodes later. That's, that's okay. That's a joke from like the live action show. Jesus. And that's the very last thing we'll watch in the live that's action. That's gonna be forever away. The ice thing does involve Sailor Moon Crystal in the manga. God, like a year yeah. from now, I'm gonna need a lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a, lo- if you get a lobotomy, you'll just remember Sailor Moon. <laughs> You won't be able to play guitar again, but you'll, oh, you'll no. sure know everything about our boy Jedi. <sighs> okay. Let's, let's, let's cut the cord. <laughs> let's uh, cut the cord. <laughs> so everyone, we're going to pour out, pour, out, uh, pour, pour one out for Jedi this episode. Yep. yep. Um, I don't know how we'll Any, cope. any theories? of? I, it, I think we know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no! No, what happens happens, but how it happens? I don't think bruh. You guess. <laughs> how it happens is like what? <laughs> don't right. worry about it. Um, watch on Hulu at home or on the DVDs or Blu-rays if you have them. Yes. 
Uh, if you're so inclined and you have a bootleg or the VHSs, you can absolutely watch the show in the original dub. We will not stop you. No, you totally yeah. can. I've. I mean, James the knows your address. Great. He will run to your house, but he won't do it for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He will book it. He yeah. will. He just coincidentally happened to be using the Viz dubs. Yes. You've been, this better deliver after this kind of hype, Harrison. <laughs> oh, Jedi's passing? I mean... Oh, is it, there better be, like, a, like the best animation. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't wait. Dude, the, the way he goes out, I, it's, like, incredible. It's like, what? Guys, I, I'm seeing some faces right now. I may be <laughs> on to something. <laughs> the, the, I, I don't remember the exact animation. I just remember what happened. This like I'm, I'm just going to hit the stop button. That's we're, a choice. We're, we're right. cutting it here. All right, we got to do the... <laughs> yeah. We're going to watch the episode. Here. Pretty Guardians make up. <laughs> don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot it there for a second. Almost a pretty Jedi make up. <laughs> he is pretty. We're back, y'all. This one's gonna rank high, and I'm like, I was not disappointed. <laughs> and so I rate this above the first. <laughs> you, well, we have to agree on the rating. But <laughs> <laughs> Were you expecting that? <laughs> this this has been better than all the band episodes. <laughs> <laughs> What a, well, it's, 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 it's a boss fight episode. Yeah. What a way to end the meme lord. Just with... <laughs> meme lord? <laughs> Don't worry, the memes are not done. Oh no, no, we've got new memes with Nephrite. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nephrite has the dream journal. It's not. Don't worry. You'll. You'll. The Dream play, Journal is not out of play. Ja, Nephrod is James's favorite. The, the yes. playbook has been handed down. Yeah. Um, so James is really excited for can I see, coming. Can I, can I say? I want to say at least twice. I saw the the thing. The the the, the, the sh, we're gonna shake a single animated object on screen. Mm-hmm. The first one. Jedi's fist is like clenched with like like the Arthur sh- like screen yes. shot of oh, yes. There's another meme. And then there's just two frames where they shake it back and forth in anger. We need to make contemporary memes out of Jedi. Oh my god. Oh, you pretty guardians out there, you know what to do. <laughs> I'll start. I'll, I'll Yeah, let's make some Jedi memes. Yeah. Too bad there's not one of him like holding a picture frame. I'd love to recreate the Wolverine meme with Jedi. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, wow, uh, yeah, that, there was, like, there's one where Usagi, like, turns her head, and both of us are like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a lot in this episode, because I think they're saving money on effects, like, the city being on fire sure. and stuff like oh, that, yeah. so they cut a lot of corners. I, I, there's Usagi's head shake of justice. In the background, Mars has a cell move. Yeah, there was... Oh my god. There's the rotating <laughs> I, image. I love it. Oh my it. god, that was great. <laughs> I swear to god, I, I, I can look at the side by side of the first time Usagi Shu hit hit uh, Ma'amaru. Oh, yeah. I, I need to know if it's a reused animation. Maybe not the whole scene. Maybe not the whole scene. I'd have to look at it again, but yeah. maybe not the whole scene. My god, For sure, dude. not the whole scene. But yeah. I, I don't. It might have been. I'm not sure. Wow. Just. Oh. I, I am entertained, and maybe, maybe for the wrong reasons. <laughs> there is no wrong way to enjoy Sailor No, Rose. there's no wrong way. <laughs> if you're enjoying it, then it's, it's good. <laughs> it's good. All right, let's just start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. All right. Away. So, Jedi is at barrels in the, in the lair. 
Yeah. And Beryl has him almost like on trial. And he said, you failed me too many times. You must defeat the Sailor Senshi or else. Handshake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's else. when the Arthur, Arthur meme comes This is up. your last chance, Jedi. <laughs> when your boss tells you you have to defeat the Sailor Senshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um... Just continue. I'll, I'll just jump in where <laughs> okay. I can. Um, <laughs> so then it gets to Usagi, and she's looking at her window, and she's looking at the constellations, and mm-hmm. she's daydreaming, and she says, oh, and there's the Matoki constellation, yep. and there's the Tuxedo Mask constellation, and she's just daydreaming, and she thinks, oh, what if Matoki is Tuxedo yeah, what Mask? What if Matoki Tuxedo Mask, guys? Think about it. I <laughs> still don't know what Think transformation does to the hair. It yeah. can do anything. Yeah, That's absolutely. Can do anything. Yeah, and you've sure. seen the shit Tuxedo Mask pulls off this episode. He has yeah. superpowers. Yeah, clearly. For sure. Yeah, he's got some kind of the weird power of disguise, man. Yeah, well, not even just disguise. That it, it's that it, mofo flies. <laughs> like, like That dude um, straight up flies. <laughs> straight <laughs> it's like, up. No, it's of, of, or bust about it. It's like, mod, it's like modest. It's not like flying at the speed of sound, but he is flying. <laughs> there ain't no two ways about it. He also jumps like 30 feet in the air. Uh, I will say, uh, after the stars gazing, um, the, pretty much what should have happened from the get-go, just Jadeite uh, appears in the sky. Yeah, he pulls an ecliptor from Power to, Rangers and um, just talks yep. to them in the sky. Yeah, and not just to them, just the whole city. <laughs> yeah, the whole it's, city sees this. Here's, they are bitches. <laughs> here's every proper noun being used, like, and everyone's like, Sailor Moon, what? Who? Who's Sailor Moon? Dear Sailor pronouns, Mars, Sailor Mercury? it's me, Who is... your boy Jedi. <laughs> come at me, bro. <laughs> if you don't come at me on, what was it, like, airplane hangar F or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, like, meet, meet me at the airport. airport. 1 a.m., hangar F. Hangar F. Yeah. F. Runway F. Run, runway F. Runway F. Runway F. Runway F. Runway F. Spits! Why is the city on fire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then it's an illusion. Usagi of course, freaks but out. He's like, "Oh, that was an illusion." But if you don't come and meet me, that's what's gonna happen. Janet, my boy, you open with this. <laughs> yeah, that's. Where was this? <laughs> Maybe he was just doing minimal effort. He's like, "I'm going into work, but I'm just not gonna, you know, I'm not feeling it today." I'm gonna send in the random object. Just gonna break. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> We're, no, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna censor that one word. <laughs> one thinks it's vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> the blank is gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell are they gonna think we do for a job and think it's vulgar? I don't care. Well, the random object. Was it a blank? No, it's funny. Oh, well, sure, that one too. Why not? <laughs> Boop, power of editing. <laughs> Try me. Listen, it's power of editing. Come on, come on. It's power of editing. Oh, brain work. And they can't keep working. That's not a very good establishment. (laughs) (laughs) These words can be anything. He might even be changing every time. Oh, my God. You think I care? (sighs) I don't care either. I like the bit. Let's move on. (laughs) Anyways. You should be wearing a bolo tie, you freak. Oh, my God. So, the three girls, they all meet at the shrine, and they're trying to figure out what to do. Amy's like, it could be a, a, a trap. trap, we shouldn't do it. And Morgan's yeah, like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta, like, step, he, he called us out, we gotta step up. Yeah, he spat fire, bro. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta go. He's spitting fire, literally. And they turn to Usagi, like, what do you think? And she's like, I don't know, I'm scared. And <laughs> It's like, wh- to be why fair, did you ask her? To be fair, she did have a natural 14-year-old girl response. Yes. Yeah. She is 14. Well, yeah. 14 year old little blood, but like, it's a hell no, man. Yeah. Like, I'm not we have our, our typical, we have, we have make a plan, gung-ho, and then yeah, the team leader on. does option C. <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. A little baby. Yeah. Of course. A little, little diaper baby. So... There's a news report talking about this illusion on the news, and all the kids at school are talking about it. Yeah, it's it's interesting, because now people are, are, like, really acknowledging what's going on. It's yeah. like, son, listen, this was funny before, but now this is serious. Her, Naru and all our friends, they want to go to the airport and check it out. Yeah. They go, we should just go to the airport and see what happens. I don't want to see Sailor Moon. It's like, you know, dude. What's, what's weird is that's like a country kid attitude. It's like, let's go rubberneck. There's nothing to do here. <laughs> yeah, let's go <laughs> rubberneck the villa. <laughs> but, they, but they live in like a, a populated mega city. I yeah. Know. I assume like, this is Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Jack Jedi, Jedi says he'll destroy all of Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. it's Tokyo. Same Tomo Eda. There's stuff it's to do like, out here. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Like, she has an arcade she can just stop by. She's 14. Yeah. And she has all these options. Exactly. It's because she's bored. She's disillusioned by the glam- glitz and glamour. Yeah. She wants to go out and see what's out in the country. No, no, wait, hold on. No, no. What the fu- 
You have these. You have this backwards. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, she's she's disillusioned <laughs> by the Glitz and Glamour. She doesn't care anymore. She okay. So she's looking for it. Yeah, she's looking yeah, for like, adventure. She wants another adventure. Have, yeah, I, I've, been, okay. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I saw a homeless man get stabbed oh my by a crack dealer. <laughs> I've seen everything oh that somebody God. has to offer me. Give me something else. Done. I Let's want go to watch, watch the Avengers I, fight on an airport. Yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, I want to watch like the <laughs> Avengers level threat on an airport. Yeah. <laughs> Like, let's go. There's superheroes there. It's let's, fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. We can just walk onto that runway. We'll figure out later why never, you do that. But yeah. never mind that most of us don't remember any of our encounters we may uh, or may not have had. What with stupid Zillin. shit does Umino say? Uh, he, oh, oh, yeah. Um, he says, no, I think it's serious. This guy could be an alien from another planet. And I just go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, of all the Sailor Moon villains... Not so. Yeah. yeah not yeah, so for this one. So. Yeah. Yeah. This is like the one you could say that. It's but, true. Uh, it's really weird. <laughs> and then, of course, Naru says, and then me and James did some detective work. Naru says, oh, you've just been reading too much third-rate sci-fi manga. Harrison, stop crinkling. And there's Never. only <laughs> one manga we know that Matoki reads because he made reference to it. He said, Ami's IQ is over 9,000. That uh. means he's read Dragon Ball Z. That means Naru is calling Dragon Ball Z a third-rate sci-fi manga, and she's not wrong. Come oh, <laughs> at me. <laughs> Whoa. I love... That's the best place this could have gone. Absolutely it's the best place. I, I thought you were just going to talk about how he, like, a, a codename Sailor V comic has been shown on screen. But no, no, no of course. You codename Sailor V. No, it's not third-rate. Also, I wouldn't call it a sci-fi. Either. <laughs> no. Anyways. Uh, I wouldn't call Dragon Ball Z a sci-fi either, honestly. Yeah. No, it's a battle shonen. Um, so, anyway. you saw you tell them, she's like, no, it's not a good idea. And even her, and their teacher is like, no, it's not a good idea. Don't, you shouldn't go out there. And then she is... She's just like, I'm sorry, you said something she's sensible. Like, sorry, you said something smart. Like, what's happening? Also, you gang, do this a fever? back. Hooray. Yeah. We haven't seen her in a while. Here. She's like, sorry, do you have a fever? What's happening? And Sonny's like, no, I don't have a fever. <laughs> and the next scene, another... Favorite of mine's back. It's Matoki. Yeah, Matoki's yeah, back. We haven't seen him in a long he's time. A good boy. He's I forget a good how boy. many episodes it was. We haven't seen him in a minute. It's I, been... I I enjoy my my currently NPC voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> and Matoki, once again, we get a, we get a glimpse into his type of woman. He likes curvy girls. Now he likes girls with unique personalities. Yeah, they like to speak their mind. He's like, mm-hmm. no, you're good. It's just how you are. Yeah, he's like, listen, but they say Matoki interesting things. Matoki acts <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> okay. I, I think she might be too much for Matoki. I feel like to, like yeah, you to so. hear she it. No, I heard what you said. <laughs> I don't ship it. So, so you saw you leave Sam, and she's really happy that oh, he says he likes me. Clearly, it's clearly what he was saying. Whatever, he whatever, definitely whatever likes get me. You to sleep at night so she's like pretty it. excited, and she's like skipping down the sidewalk, and her shoe flies she's off like a bunny. And of course, Repeat who, does it hit, who does it hit in the head but Mamoru? <laughs> he would have ruined her day. Oh, he is. He's lavender pants, his green blazer, and his black turtleneck. He would have ruined her day. <laughs> was, Lord, to be fair, she showed up to ruin his day first, but he goes a little too far this time. Yes, he does. He's like, will you stop hitting me with your shoes? She's like, you can't break my mood because my man said he likes me. He's like, well, I guess there's someone out there for everyone. And there's, 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 what is that supposed to be? Yeah, she's. he's like, I can't remember what he said, he's like, even a cracked pot has a lid? Has, yeah, it has a cover to match. <laughs> it has a cover to match, yeah. He's like, it's and like, then for every, um... Bun bun head, bun, yeah, there's a loser. There's a loser, yeah. And, and, and she's and, like, how dare you say that about Matoki? Also, yeah, Mamoru, how dare you say that about Matoki? <laughs> yeah. She's like, and what have you said? You said about me, but you said about Matoki, too. And she starts, like, you crying. You got two rules here. You don't pick on her, and you don't pick on my Matoki. It's on the list. So, you don't let like James run into your house, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so you she, better not miss with that one room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she yeah. gets upset and starts crying, and yeah, understandably so, because he was kind of a jerk. And everyone's like, now look, it's like, why did that tall man make that little 411 girl, little cry? girl cry? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. Here's your shoe back. He, he's like, here's your shoe back. I gotta go. And he just leaves her <laughs> like a jerk. And it's like, when does Mamoru start acting like real Mamoru? I or like a know. normal human being. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting real sick of like, and I get it. It's the '90s. It's Japan. It takes a minute. Still, like, unfortunately, the, you know, the, 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 the feuding couples, one thing, but it's like, golly, dude, 
Because I, I remember parts of the manga. He's a sweet guy, but oh damn, yeah, it starts right? off so Maybe? early, just so mean. I, this it, I, I'm not gonna. Why is it so mean? I don't want to stay on this tangent for long. I wonder if like for airing thing like shows and obviously not the manga, but. Like, you know, you see a new episode every week. Maybe it just feels farther apart, so you have to either, like... Absolutely. It feels more spaced out, or you don't change as fast so that, like, people remember, oh, this is the character that... blank. Yeah. So, um, either way... time. Yeah, he runs away, and now it's action time. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. See, at the airport, Jedi's there, and he puts everyone, all the guards and everyone there asleep. They all fall like wooden soldiers. Oh, they all all had attention. This over. episode is chock full of just animation, like... <laughs> Oh, what's the word? Well, I um, think that was an honest to God joke. In I'm going to start cut. with treasures. <laughs> Animation treasures. <laughs> start with treasures. Because they're like we'll they come from apart, there. they land, like <laughs> snap back together. It's almost like a like a um, salute. So I think that was made as a joke. Yeah. Okay. For like yeah. being security guards. Yeah, that one did seem deliberate. Like it, it didn't look like a frame. Yeah, that missing. wasn't like a dude taking a cell and tipping it on its side. <laughs> I would have accepted that. I would take him that. But it's like oof. And you don't think about things like that because when Sailor Moon came out, it sure. was like one of the best animated things I've ever seen as American yeah. kids. We're used to like Scooby Doo yeah. and shit. It's like, damn, dude, look at this. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You see the transformation. These cartoons the are drawn with semi-realistic proportions. Yeah, well, I mean, we still had things like Batman the animated series and sure. stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But but for like an action show, it's like so bright, so colorful. The blasts are cool. I mean, that's why everyone loves Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z. It's like, wow. Yeah. This is what anime is. Anime. Mm. It was the best thing to happen to American TV. Look at America anime fans now. Perfect. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> dual wheels. <laughs> so. Oh, God. <laughs> so the girls show up, and they're like, all right, we're going to take the train. Oh, no, there's no more trains left. We're going to take a cab. And there's a train that is there that opens up. The, the doors Damn, open up. Dude. They should know not to get into things. There was a dang ghost bus. There was a rush ship. I mean... Yeah, ladies. Hey, I just want to point out, uh, we had that moment with, do we make a plan? Do we go ahead first? Do we do whatever Asagi might have come up with? We totally went with Mars's plan. Oh yeah, we totally. No, no question. So I went and started blasting. I've got a plan. Attack. <laughs> Attack. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, all right, Iron Man. So they get on the train, and they're like, hmm, this might have been a trap. And it's like, well, we're here now, so... Yeah, Mars gets goes. results. <laughs> she does. Yeah, whether they're good or bad, that's up to you. <laughs> we'll, 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 maybe she'll lose a couple MVPs later, but she's, she's a contender <laughs> she for results. me right now. <laughs> oh, okay. So... So they're sneaking around the airport, see all these guards hanging around. They're like, hmm, there's a lot of guards around. And then there's some guards like show up behind them and start like attacking them. So they start like trying to attack them and they run from all the guards. And then Mercury's like, wait, I got an idea. And she transforms. It's like, you probably, guys probably should have transformed you before you even got in the train, but whatever, it's fine. It's then we true. couldn't use the <laughs> transformation animation. You could like, have. They still could have. Time. Like right before they got in the train, they could have still used it there. But whatever, it's fine. So she transforms, and then Mars transforms, and then Isagi's like, yeah, I should transform too. And then they all transform. <laughs> so then Mercury breaks out her little computer little visor, yep. and she figures out that all the guards are actually clay golems. They're not real. Yeah. I, I, I tried looking for, like, another gag in, like, the typing on her, or the text on her visor. I couldn't find any. <laughs> I don't think. There are words. I saw boo dot boo. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, uh, I saw what looked like a name or like a like a place, uh, but no, nothing immediately funny like the prime directive. Nothing from like Robocop. Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> so so Mars does her fire soul and destroys all the golems. Now Jedi shows up. He's like, haha. I know all your identities now. I've watched you all transform. They're like, it's Don't. a pretty solid plan, actually. Yeah, they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so. It's true. It's not bad. No. So this is when they have to I just mean, uh, attack them. He's like, he's like, does I that mean you're gonna attack me first? Because I'm the most beautiful. How does oh this go? This yeah. complete nonsense. This conversation is really <laughs> weird. It's just this argument between. I forget how this argument starts. Just, just this. <laughs> it's really weird. Pity argument between Usagi and Ray about which one of us is prettier. <laughs> yeah, well, also, 
I don't get, get ready for a lot of that petty BS yeah. between yeah. them. I, I don't even think there was a through line from what <laughs> Jedi said to this comment. I don't think so. It's true. It's, <laughs> I can try to remember what he said that triggered this conversation. I don't remember what it was, honestly. I didn't write that part down. So, But if no one else can remember it, then I yeah. honestly don't know. <laughs> But he's all he just says is she's more beautiful and oh clearly I'm the most beautiful and Morris is like yeah okay yeah. <laughs> like and they argue about it. God, you're okay. Yeah, no, you're right. This, if you're having fun, <laughs> then you're doing it right. It's a good episode. Let's keep going. <laughs> so then Jedi takes control of a plane. Two yeah. planes. Yeah. Let's, let's, Two let's planes. dive in a little bit. <laughs> and they start running from the plane, understandably so, because it's a. It's an airplane <laughs> coming at them. A commercial, like a Boeing 747 <laughs> what? is being pu- is being puppeted by Jedi <laughs> at the girls. Yeah. It's, 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 and they're doing the thing, we find out later it doesn't work, but they're doing the thing where they just run from it. In a straight they don't, line. In a straight line, they don't strafe, they don't serpentine. No, the camera, it does not let us know. That and then are. another plane's coming, it's like, oh my god, Mars is like, it's time to barbecue some bitches. It's like the scene in Deadpool where he's like crawling at the guy with the with the steamroller. It's like that. <laughs> but man, this was the 90s. Uh, uh, yeah, and then Mars is like, I'm gonna shoot it with my fire soul, and Luna's like, no. Well, first off, that fire soul is a little fireball. You're not gonna destroy a plane with that. But then Luna's like, yeah. Do you know how much an airplane costs? It's like, wait, are we worried about property damage? Yeah, Mars is like, oh, it costs that much. Oh, it costs <laughs> that much, totally really? Plus. She's, like, she's like, imagine your um, like, allowance for your whole lifetime. It's not even close to that. She's, she's like, like huh. wow, it's that much. She's like, yeah. Yes, but it's, it's a plane. It, it, I, I do think it's a fun reminder that these are fourteen-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even even Sailor Mars. It's true. Uh, so yeah. then Tuxedo Mask throws a rose. And it breaks Jedi's like <laughs> no, spell. No, 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 no. <laughs> Highlight of the episode. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we don't know it's a rose. The plane is running on screen. You see like a like an orangish kind of line, and like a flash plane yeah. stops. Yeah. I look at the screen. It's the rose. T- I oh, start to slowly clap. <laughs> Those pedals show up on screen, front and center. <laughs> the like, man. Oh, snap. Listen, I know there's a lot of memes out there, but he's useless. But the man stopped three Boeing telepathically <laughs> with controlled a by a crazy dude with a rose. <laughs> Tuxedo mask, what's going on, buddy? Like, what? My whole life. Superpowers, up? man. <laughs> I am actually surprised I've never seen him throw more than one rose. And I'm gonna say, the one that shows up in the water later, I don't count it. It wasn't a weapon. It just, <laughs> no, it's not. It was probably the core shot. But then he shows up like a motherfucking G. He's like standing <laughs> in front of the crescent moon, cape and a-billowing. His cape is billowing. <coughs> he has great cape action going on. The he's only thing that Jedi, and he's like... <laughs> Sup, slut? I'm here to stop your plan. <laughs> and then they do like this jump, and they're like circling each other oh, yeah, in the it's a air. Showdown. Like the showdown, and then they both fall into the water in the and ocean. And then he's like, Tuxedo Mask, you're following me again, like, like the sense you don't even matter anymore. It's like, <laughs> you. I mean, you stopped my super awesome cell you. walk, you son of a bitch. You did this to me. It's all you. Why you're the one that keeps cutting all my animation budget. <laughs> uh, I, and you know, also, not to not to derail, but like, would knowing the Sailor Scouts' identity do anything? Yeah, we well, can you, just you attack them where they live. Yeah, oh, you okay, can, yeah. You, you can kidnap yeah. Soto. You, you can actually you blow up the their, shrine. Their, okay. their families. Sorry, their, you yeah. steal anime, Dad. <laughs> I, I knew that about other movies in this situation. I didn't know if Sailor Moon would take that route. If yeah, that yeah. Were a thing. Oh, yeah. Imagine sure. what could happen to Miss Harna and Matoki if they knew. Yeah, what about Shingo? Hurt what about, about Shingo? Shingo? <laughs> <laughs> what about Shingo? Shingo kicked a cat. Once. It was mind control. Oh, uh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, it was the, the evil. I forget so what they were anyways, playing. Evidence so number one that Tuxedo Mask can fly. Boy jumps like 60 feet in the air. Chanella. They were Chanellas. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, go on. <laughs> and that was Chanel number three. So two people had more. <laughs> uh, 
And Jedi and Harem jump in the air. They have an epic, like, showdown. It looks like something out of, like, a 1980s Gundam series. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. They're, like, it circling lo- each it, other. It looks like a Zaku and the RX facing down with each other and doing, like, a circle in space, and then they clash. But for, like, four seconds too long, it was... <laughs> yes, it was too long. <laughs> yeah. they, they went around too many times. Yeah. And then Jedi Cell flies into Tuxedo Mask, and then it cuts, and you see a splash of water. It it's was, like it's pretty quick. And then a few moments later, you see a rose float up in the water, and then <laughs> Jedi comes out of the water, like, flying out of the water, and he's still alive. He's like, Tuxedo Mask is no more. And they're like, no! Dead? And then he says some shit that's not cool. We was cool, Jedi. Yeah, they kind of, they, they backloaded this part. And then he's like, "What's up, stupid hose? Girls can't do anything. Girl, like, girls it? could stop me. Yeah, it's like girls are dumb and they smell. It was and uh, they have cooties and I hate I'm them. Try, I want to try and paraphrase. It was like, do you, well, first it was like, do you need him to come save you every time? Oh, yeah. fair, fair point. Fair. Not every not time. Every time. A lot of it, times. Like if you're an enemy doing jabs, that is the first place I'd go. That's not below the belt. <laughs> I don't know. I but don't think then, he shows up like half the time. What, what was it? What, he, he named two things. It was a girl. Like, do, do women have to do anything yeah. for you? Yeah, it's like yeah. a bunch Just, of shit. It's like, dude, I suspected you didn't like women. Okay, I've seen your haircut. I've seen your disguises. <laughs> um, fine, but you don't gotta act but like that, <laughs> bruh. I thought we was cool. I, I, I believe the phrase useless creatures was used. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? He's sick of getting kicked around by Queen Barrel. Um, oh my it god. Is mommy issues. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Just Jedi need some time on the couch. Because. Oh my god, that's what it is. <laughs> he is so sick of Barrel just bossing around and poking him, him in the up. chest. Like, and making him do the crystal ball workout against his will. Think about, <laughs> think about all his minions. Uh, I think they're all women too. Yeah. Oh my god. Jadeite. <laughs> oh. oh. There you oh. go. He, he's, he only knows evil women. <laughs> Jedi, uh, wow. So you many s- good ones. Yeah. What a powerful... We have a, well, like a brief moment of silence for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, the girls are like, fuck all that shit. They're like, nah. <laughs> They're like, They're like, nah. They count that Beyonce ro- ro- energy and like, oh, we know who run the world. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. They're like, I don't think so. <laughs> They're shut up. Girl power. They got like a guitar that says girl power on their door oh, in their room. They're better. Better. ready to go. They're Straight listening up. to Flyleaf. They're, They're like, ready to go. <laughs> I was gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Flyleaf works. <laughs> what, uh, you gonna go Barrymore uh, or Dead Sarah? Or Dead Sarah works. Well, it's nineteen ninety, so um, yeah. Right, right, right. Nine, so earlier. maybe some Jewel. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, some, some Mariah. Pat Benatar. Uh, that looks Pat eighties. But she's it's not, Japan. She's eighties Japan. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's nineties Japan, so eighties counts. Yeah, that's true. It's, is Trap Nest out yet? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Avatar was still popular in the nineties, though. Yes. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Anyways, so the girls unite and they're like, "Oh hell no!" And like Mar- Mars is just like, "Usagi, you be the decoy." Uh, yeah, so he takes control of the plan again. Now we're going to be doing a plan. And Luna's, and Luna's like, the real like, enemy is Jedi. We need to attack him. Yeah, don't him. be distracted by the planes, Luna. I'm going to be distracted by the planes. <laughs> The Boeing is coming after That's me. That's true. So Mercury does her bubble spray Which to make it all misty. The and most useful it's been. You're on an airplane runway with a bunch of planes. You make it misty. Jenny can't see shit. Eli can't see shit because Mars sneaks up on her and she is cell moving, baby. Yep. And she does, and she does the um, she does the old her evil spirit. Yep. And she sticks on Jedi. I'm thing. guessing she puts their signature or something onto it to attract the planes to him. I'm I'm just gonna. Right, like, let's break the wall for a second. Writer's perspective. I'm pretty sure the talisman does the thing it needs to do at the time within reason. Yeah, with, but with, I think with, I think that particular one like channels the planes to him. Yeah, let's say, let's say it was like a, a magic attract, and then he just starts talking shit again. He's like, "Oh, there you turn my spells against me. What'd you do, boy?" He runs up and see a badass silhouette of all the senshi. He walks up to him, and like, she's like, I ain't taking no more of your shit. Oh, hell no. And she throws the TR at him. Yep. And he's like, what adds? And then, Michael, what happens to our poor Jedi? And then... <laughs> Usagi? Did you see this coming? Us- no, I, we started the episode. I Okay. <laughs> so, I, 
I gotta, I gotta phrase this in. A, okay, so when I first saw the the trailer, because we're watching this, this is Blu-ray, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We see like the the uh, like the episode teaser at the yes. end of the previous episode. Now that's or, was or, the, or that some, little it's teaser. It's at the beginning. It's after the theme song. Yeah. Because Japan is back yeah. after. Yeah, they do that. They always do that teaser before. It's, oh my um, God. I don't like and it. And we either, can't but... skip it regularly because yeah. it skips all the way to the middle part. Yeah. I, I should start fast forwarding yeah. through it. But I mean, um, yeah, well, we no, should. Because here's the thing. I got thrown the hook. When I said, when I did like the what? <laughs> I, I, because they went from the plane to the fire. Oh, yeah. Because cause she lit up the golems. But I was yes. like, Hey, is Jedi gonna die in a plane crash, bro? And then it did like, and then it cut to like him and Tuxedo Mask going into the water. Are so we you're gonna like, blow up a goddamn what is airport? <laughs> so, did this live up to our reaction before we watched the episode? <laughs> With me, Kelly, and James all looking at each other like, what the act? I wish there was more on screen, but I understand the budget yes. was taxed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. And, and under, under stress at this yes. point. Usagi, Ami, and Rey watch Jedi get run over by two colliding planes. Well, I, yeah. I assume they don't cause. One gravity. of the Boeing hits them. Yeah. And it just cuts to the moon and the screams of this man. Yeah. <laughs> Todd Habercorn got hit by a plane. I I cheered. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in the mood. <laughs> uh, now, of course, that is what you know. Uh, I assume in a later episode, the scouts are going to be like, "We defeated Jedi." If this ever gets referenced at all, maybe not. Yeah, yeah no, they but, never. Um, yeah. Then the the next scene, I think, is is yeah. Jedi he runs. He goes to barrels. So obviously, he survived the he, plane crash. He's, he's he's real beat up though. That, so. that or like he teleported yeah. out before it actually yeah. killed yeah. him. He, Who knows? He's been defeated. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So he runs to Beryl, and Beryl's like, nah, you done. And he's like, but I know the Sailor Sentry's identities. And she's like, like, don't care. Don't care. You have to die. Here you go. And once again, she blew it again. Last episode, she took him away too soon. He would have had dead rights. Yeah. And then she blew it again. Beryl. Side note. There might be a reason see, he has these thoughts on This women. might be saying something about the series before, ahead of time, but you see so many times in the series, the enemy finds out. What the Sailor Sentry's identities are, oh, yeah. and then they die, like right they die, after. Well, it's, <laughs> and they never get to do anything with it's, it. It's like Death Note, really. <laughs> it's the same thing with Power Rangers. They never shows, get, they never get to do anything with it. You know the identity, you're either becoming a Power Ranger or you're dead. <laughs> it happens all the time in the show, as you'll see. Same thing with the Sentry. You, oh you my know gosh. Sentry, or you're, you become a Sentry or you're dead. Yeah. Death. <laughs> uh, and so, so if you turn, she turns Jedi to ice. And it's like, like, I'm done with you. Zaps the ice block away. Yeah, and she's like, all right, Nephrite, you're up. <laughs> it's my boy! <laughs> James's favorite Nephrite is coming. Um, I hadn't heard his New English voice yet. I like it. I like it a lot. I need to look up who I that is. I definitely sure. recognize it, but I can't place the name right yeah. now. Yeah, we can look it up later, but yeah. we, we know Nef- um, Nephrite's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We only saw a silhouette, but we know yep. he's coming. And Nephrite is a G, and That's I love great. him. He yeah. might be. I think he's my. I think he's my favorite in the anime. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. They're very. Depending which version you watch, it's different. So. Um. um but yeah. So. Um, so the girls are there. You saw he's crying about Tuxedo Mask, thinking he's dead still. Yeah, they're very upset. I mean, yeah. I would be too. I it's would like be yeah. their ally. He just comes and so he, and he talks behind them. Yeah, he's like, like, I appreciate yeah. your concern. Oh man, I, 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 I blanked it. out. I forgot there was more episode after this for a second. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not where it ends. After the plane, I mean... Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, the falling action, am I right? <laughs> and, and they're like, oh, Tuxedo Mask! Tuxedo Mask, we're alive! And then Ray's like, listen, dude, just tell us who you are. He's like, I cannot reveal that yeah, yet. Yeah, I can't reveal my identity yet. Cherish the bond you guys have. And then just he like leaves. A the... It's like, all right. And then he jumps into the air and flies away. And that's about where it ends. Also, that's... a lot of this episode is... Sailor Moon, Sailor Mars, Sailor Mercury. Sailor, yep. Sailor, Sailor. Yeah. Just like, like, like each of their names in a sequence order. I think like, they do that in a lot of anime and mm-hmm. stuff too. They say each character's name. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's in Kingdom Hearts too. Well, it's, it's owned by Toei, so I think it just might be a by Sailor Moon, by Sailor Mars. Well, because I noticed they do do it in Kingdom Hearts too. They always yeah. say Sora Donald Goofy yep. every yeah, time. So, yeah. yes, it's, of it's interesting mm-hmm. when they are, because they're not just saying, and they'll do this later, because saying five names is way too much, but they'll then say Sailor Scouts or Sailor Guardians. But now, it's just, each of their names is just weird. Yeah. 
So yeah, like, no, it's it's uh, it's probably deliberate. I don't mind. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. deliberate. But um, yeah. it's just something I know. It's like, huh. I don't want me to know. And he, he flies away, and like, we did a gang high five. Yep, that's the end of the episode. our first big bed. It's really good. All right. Uh, Michael, you've earned it. What was best? I, I, that's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where do I begin? Uh, what, wait, what was the thing? I, I, I did, I did slow clap for the rose stopping the plane. Oh, as yeah. Slow clap for the rose stopping the plane. You, like, cheered for getting hit by the plane. Jedi, I yeah. knew that was going to happen to Jedi. I ah oh man, oh, that's a tough call. <laughs> I, like I, I even almost want to throw in the fist shake at the beginning. <laughs> had one last it. meme. One last meme. Because that last the meme. first thing you get on screen. <laughs> like listen. There's a lot of best in this episode. There's oh, a lot man. of best. I'm gonna give it to. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna give it to the row stopping the plane. I'm going to give it to me knowing the plane stopped. <laughs> But because of the rose, before the rose was on screen. Mm. Now, in fairness, it played the rose animation. That little black screen where it shows the yeah. thing. Oh, where it's like a, like a, yeah, that's, a light that, flash. That is, yeah, that is his animation like of him rose, throwing his like, rose. Like, okay, like the line, okay. Yeah. But now you know, well, so I'm that's gl- good. I'm glad I... You gave yourself some picked up on that. Well, well, I'll, you arrogant prick. I was going to say, I, I didn't recognize it earlier. Like, uh, I'm glad they, uh, that's the hallmark of good animation. I didn't even notice. Jim, what was best? Um, my boy's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, the silhouette's ne- here. Yeah. Ne- Nephrite's, Nephrite's here. here. Nephrite's here, and I love me some Nephrite. Mark, it's the Herald of Nephrite. <laughs> Callie, what's best? My best is the girls what? all coming together and yeah, being girl, girl power. power. I'm mean, like, nah, like. <laughs> I'm not even going to say that was out of left field. I was just like, they condensed that into one conversation. Wow. Listen, dude, what's like, best nah. is no one else took it. I'm going to give it to him. He had hit by a damn plane. <laughs> <laughs> Death is gonna add up to that. That is rad. <laughs> I have terrible. you have shown me the movie where like they're in space, like steering comets away from something. That shit. Yeah, is, that's like, a great movie. Best that's in the a anime. great movie. We'll, we'll get there. That that movie is technically during the second season. So yes. we'll, we'll get there. Oh, great. We'll watch it. But it ties into the second season. Yeah, of the it's, films it's, at the very it's with the second season. Is this, but oh, then we'll, that movie is Sailor Moon yeah. R, so it's the Sailor Moon. I think it's the second best season. One. But that is my favorite movie. Yeah. So is it is it like the way the Cowboy Bebop movie is like? It doesn't matter, but technically it takes... No, it does. They, it they matters, do matter. It matters what season it's in. What? And it matters okay. probably... Because of attacks, what moves they have, something like Probably any time after that first little mini arc. I think you can play it any time in season. Once she gets the Spiral Heart Moon Rod. Is that the no, one in season two? No, Okay. That yeah. one's the, the Cutie Moon Rod. Items, the Cutie Moon Rod. Okay. Yeah, um... The, yeah, the, third, the Star Hunt Moon Rod is the third season. Okay. Then um, when she gets the Kingdom Moon Rod. And she has to be super Sailor Moon. Let's back up. Is she Super Whoa, Sailor Moon in the third one, movie? She has her the, gotcha, the, com- the, the thing, the Holy Grail, and she can transform into Shut the fuck up, she gets the Holy Grail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> what? We said <laughs> that I said too much. We've I lost like, the script. <laughs> I said All too I much. All I said was Super Sailor Moon. <laughs> Yes. I didn't say shit about it. In the third season, yeah, she, she does that, the that super she can John Sailor the Moon. Super Sailor Moon. With the unborn With Sailor the in, in Chi-Chi's belly. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Videl's belly. It was Videl, yeah. <laughs> um, it's... Anyways, oh, but yes, the second movie we'll watch during the second season at some point. Well, the okay. first movie we'll watch. The first movie, yes. Oh, well, the we'll second movie is in the third season. Episode. Yeah. No, best is getting hit by a plane. I get to do worst. <laughs> worst is Jedi's misogynistic turn. Come on, dude. What a jerk. Come on. Uh, yeah, you can almost yeah. give it to Mamaru for being a jerk, but that's worse. Ma- Mamaru, like, well, he well, got What Mamaru said was worse. What you that. did was actions. Well, also, also, he got hit in the head with a... Oh, did you just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, we're not going to bring attention to that. I'm going to sandbag that. That's... Five more days. <laughs> Uh, and counter. <laughs> but, um, Mamaru got hit in the Don't head with a shoe, up. so, like, I understand why his relationship is at least, like, snippy. It's true, she does keep throwing stuff at him. She be- Look, if the man wants to spend his day off from high school going to an amusement park, he shouldn't be picked on for that. Is he even not? Well, I he's guess, a high school. I guess yeah, he's, he's, high, he's like, he's like four years older than she is. So. is he is three years older three in two years? months. Oh, yeah. So, like, three years older. He's high school, though. So. Oh, I don't know that because I just saw a, po- I saw a post about it before we, like, started a Pretty Guardian podcast. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I knew it was, like, was three or four, so. Um, yeah. My was my boy. The only, like, I, I, I never know when to, like, go on the writer side or the viewer side. Oh, yeah. But, like, I, knowing that 
Miss Takeuchi is writing this, like knowing she wants to like well, help I don't young girls. Is know like, how involved she is in the scripts of the anime itself? Oh. I don't know how much to do with the because she was writing the manga at, at the, the same, same time. time. Okay, and she was yeah. a consultant, but a lot of manga don't write their anime. Really? Yeah, so I'm not sure how much she had to do with the usually they have the manga going on the okay. Yeah, usually they have the manga and they're going off the manga, but they have to do their own thing outside, too, obviously, yeah. because obviously they're going on at the same time. That's why there's so much more yeah. filler and stuff that happens in the anime, obviously, because okay. the manga yeah. is so short. That, I, I just, I, that's cu- so curious because it just falls in line with the, the setting so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then um, there's all meaning in her symbolism. Oh, yeah. And what she does and what she writes and stuff. But she does not think too hard narratively. you got to think of this okay. like a Disney production is emotionally driven. The story is emotionally yes. driven. Like, like we'll, have, we'll have symbols, we'll have things in yeah. place, but we're not really going to, like, like the words yeah. don't read into we're, the we're, dialogue. It's, 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 it's a manga. It was a comic book. You, yeah. you read it emotionally. You don't read it practically. Yeah. yeah. That's how you should take Sailor Moon because it's an emotional journey. Right. Yes. There is thought put into it. Every oh, yeah, there's one a of lot their of thought star put signs, into it. their heights, okay. everything. Yeah, everything. She crafted these characters and these villains Blood meticulously. Blood types, everything. Is... Yes. She did it all for a particular reason. So, and that's nice. That's really good. So there is a lot of thought yeah. put into it, but it's not. It's it's thought, and I think the most the most important okay. area a writer should put it into. Yeah. Your characters and things like that. That's why me and Kelly love Stephen King so much. You can read 200 pages of his book where no one's doing anything, but you like these characters so much, right. you could sit with them forever. It's true. I, uh, okay, so like maybe, so even if she didn't write it, she probably maybe heard that and was like, oh, that's nice. Absolutely. And that's why yeah. the Senshi are so endearing. And that's why, despite the quip I made about Dragon Ball Z, I still like Dragon Ball Z. It'll always yeah. be part of my youth. I can't break away from that, but I'll always like say I'm better because... Dragon Ball Z only really has to offer you a couple characters. Everyone else is left on the wayside where oh it's more God. strong. Yeah. Sailor Moon's a journey. Of, Sailor Moon's a journey about friends. Yeah. Yes. And the friends you make, and all that other stuff. So all the side characters are really good and well thought out. Right. Even characters like I know we joke about it, but even characters like Haruna and yeah. Matoki. It's all prevalent. It's all relevant. Even things like um, the generals. So yeah. um, separating. But that's when you get to the anime. She definitely consulted on this. Her fingerprints are everywhere. But she was also writing the manga at the yes. same time. Okay. So. And then, once again, they just have to stretch it out. You you, you yeah. read Sailor V. If they wrote an anime at the pace she writes, oh, yeah. you definitely would not have 200 episodes. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, what, the first season of Sailor Moon Crystal was, what, 13 episodes? Mm-hmm. And that's the first two seasons? Yeah. Right now. Well, no, no, no. That's, I, think that's, I think that is the first I, I, arc. Is I will say. Okay. It's, okay, yeah. So it's the very the first yeah, arc. It was and then, the, Second one that was um, season one had seasons. the first two okay. arcs, but then they so each arc it. is basically like thirteen episodes or so. Yeah. Okay, that's each arc. So I, I guess so, for um, Crystal, is that, so that's how example, fast it goes. If we if we were watching it now, this is the episode where the first arc would end. Yeah, Queen Barrel would be defeated, it, it and we'll move on to the next thing. Yeah, and and this episode also seems like quite final for it's like yeah we we beat cha- the, the first the of the Jedi four chapter we beat the first of the four yeah. in our Japanese series about fighting bad guys about about the four things before the big bad yes, uh, yes. Um, Kelly what was worst because I did my worst and we got on yeah. a tangent um. It's probably going to be in line with yours. Yeah, just being Jedi, Mamoru just... and Jedi being jerks. Yeah. Just probably my worst part. Cause like I said, it was just him being a jerk and boys. that's a normal thing. But <laughs> well, the comparison's ridiculous, yes. though. Mamoru's not straight up like, women are useless. You're a blight in our society. Yes. So, Please of course, anyone who's going to attack women and girls like that, I'm going to go after. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, I don't like that. It's not cool. And once again, I like him so much in the manga. I liked him so much in the series, like, oh... Boo. Yep, so I don't like that, uh, so that's going to have to be worse for me. I guess for me, it's it's the start of something that bothers me, and specifically this anime. It's the petty bickering between Usagi and Rei. Oh, um, yeah, that drives you crazy. I, I will, I will yeah. say it's not even the bickering. That specific conversation, it like it was not prompted by anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were just sniping <laughs> at each other. Like, nothing Jedi said. Like in, it, it was just... It completely started by Usagi. And this is why we're labeling you the Mercury of the group, because Mercury's like, all right, enough of this. <laughs> all right, enough. Focus. Yeah, well, I mean, even from, like, the, like, a view, it's like, how did, how did you even begin to think, like, you're fighting the big bad, the guy who almost sent you into a black hole, <laughs> uh, like, a couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it's uh, yeah, out of nowhere. It, it it almost ruined the momentum at the time. Yeah. While, while I was yeah. watching Is the that your worst? Yeah. <laughs> the beauty fight. Because like it, like I don't care about like the bickering or whatever, but like it just actually I went what at the screen. <laughs> Like, what is like, like it actually interrupted the pace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Best, worst, are we doing MVPs? Yes. Oh, we're absolutely doing MVPs. My MVP this time is Tuxedo Mask. That dude stopped some planes. That dude had some animation going. That dude had some lines. Tuxedo Mask has got it going. Tuxedo Mask has got it going. I like it when he actually gets to do stuff. Yeah. Because it doesn't happen a lot in the anime version. It makes me real sad. Mm. It would have been New Jedi, but... I had to throw out that mouth. Michael MVP. I will go for Tuxedo Mask. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, he clearly has power, and even though I am resisting the urge to expl- like talk about how he has done nothing else, <laughs> I, there's some other, like, there's not much well, he else. He did stuff last episode, too. Yeah, he's done a couple things. Well, let me say that. I mean, like, other, I'm not saying, like, the way he shows up. I'm saying the fact it's usually so far been show up remain mysterious mm-hmm. I I'm not saying I'm not tired of it I don't expect <laughs> all, like, I'm not expecting to be wowed at every moment yeah. and everyone to get an arc you get a character development you get a character <laughs> development it's not um, going to happen especially going this slow this not, slow not, pace at least not at this pace <laughs> yeah not um, at this pace it's not going to happen but uh, the only it'll happen eventually but you have to wait for it <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to Mask um, I, I I almost would consider Jedi like it was an act like he, yeah. he did put up the most fight. He was the most difficult yeah. one so far. Control, controlling those airplanes and uh, stuff. To you, James? Yep, um, MVP. I'm going to give MPP, MVP to uh, Boeing. Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, old Boeing. That's, Boeing. 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 That, that, that's a plane you can take out a bad guy with. I think the Boeing's... No, the 777 is retiring, not the Boeing. Yeah. What is a Boeing 777 that is retiring this year? I'm sorry, Anyways. this is not mm. podcast relevant. No. Um, Kelly, MVP? As much as I want to say, I mean, it's just the girls, but it's all of them coming together. Yeah, that was your but best. But that's my best, but I saw probably with Jessica Jaxita Mask, because I can't pick yeah. just one out of those three. Mm-hmm. It could be it's all hard, three it's together. Hard to pick an MVP. Like so it's probably going to be Jaxita Mask then for me. All right, Kelly, well, you asked me to find some questions for you, since this is a special occasion, our blue oh. Jedi today. I've got some Jedi questions for you. Okay. This right. is a new, uh, now now you are, is a this new trivia for segment. Everyone? This is trivia this is for Kelly, be... but if you would like to chime in, Try to stump Kelly on Sailor Moon. Oh, okay, which is what I this see. segment is. I thought that's what this a is. A couple other episodes, he didn't have any questions, but uh, this time he came prepared. Ooh, so we'll see. So we're going to ask some Jedi exclusive questions. Jedi exclusive. That aren't All right. super spoilery. But so you don't make it not too spoilery because he doesn't know everything about Jedi but You yet. also don't answer super spoilery. Don't be saying things like Holy Grail, lady. <sighs> I mean, that's what it's called. How old <laughs> is Jedi? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know their ages. Oh, before you even say anything, is there like an answer <laughs> and then an answer in parentheses? No, there's a, it's one answer throughout the board. Okay. No, no, I, no, I mean, because it's like, Jedi, age 7,000, and then in parentheses, looks 19. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's not in the thousands, it's, it's a reasonable age. Okay. Oh. 18, I don't yes, know. Yes, Jedi's 18. Nice. God damn, of course he is. <laughs> what is the significance of Jedi's name? It's oh. off the Jedi, the stone? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. I need that one. What is Jedi's color? His uniform, harmonizing, matching color. <sighs> This is red. No, mm-hmm. this is red. Okay. Yep. Really? Follow up question that's slightly related. Who is the yin to his yang? Mars. Mm-hmm. So it's significant. He is the only one color who matches his. Um, that is, yeah, yin. his does match because some of them it's don't the, match. Yeah, that's the only one that does. That's why I was like, is it red? I don't remember. When she wrote it, each villain represents. An opposing force to another century. Yeah. The anime doesn't go into it as often. I was going to say, I didn't pick up on that at all. The anime doesn't no, really go into it, but every other version kind of does. In the live action, not as that much. Sounds cool. But every, the manga, it's for sure, cool. the definitely fact, corresponds with the, the senshi. The, the but background for the Dark Moon Kingdom, or the Dark Kingdom, is really I don't want to say too much about them yet, because yeah. I want... I'll see it in Crystal. Yeah. I'll propose a theory I don't want to say too much about them yet, because there's a lot of stuff that but, goes into them. But there's but an evil general. It's like a yin and yang thing. For each century, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, do I have any more fun Jedi facts? Oh! 
in order of the ship, no, by, in order of the generals by ages, where does he come in? The youngest. No. He's not. The, he's, was it Zoosite the youngest? He's the second youngest. Is the Zoosite the youngest? I think so, yeah. You think so? You don't know for sure? It doesn't say exactly on this factoid page about him, but okay. he is the second youngest. Zoosite makes more sense to be the young? I don't see Def F right being the youngest, and Coonsite's definitely oh, the youngest. The next question. He is the second youngest. Um, what is... Well, actually, no. We, 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 I want to we, know we, the actual answer, though. Anyways. We, um, well, we can pull that up later. I know he's the youngest in the live action show. That's why I said ah. him for the youngest. But it could be wrong in the actual version. Spoiled by your 3D men. Um, there's not really too much else to say about him. Um, anywho, let's give our favorites about Jedi. All right, gang, what is the best dream journal plan? What do we think? <laughs> this, uh, he's had one, some good what, ones. What's in the a, best dream journal? Okay, because uh, I was going to say, in effectiveness, this plan was well, the best one. one. <laughs> this one was really good. He was just full of Oh, the cruise monster. ship one? Yeah. But dream journal. What was your favorite? Like, just, oh, Jedi, you sweet, stupid baby. Uh, <laughs> I almost want to look up our episode names. Uh, hold on. Here's the list of our order, so you can see the different ones. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so there's the pilots. That's Jack and Jules. That was an okay one. Uh, the one with Santa Mars was the dream bus. Eh. Mercury was the computer one. I'm leaning towards... That, that's, every, a, that's in a blazer where I had the Yusuke Amade and the, the, the fucking jazz <laughs> tape. They were going to override. The really good. Um, DJ J. Daito is really good. I really, I like, really, the, the I really like the DJ J. Daito. Uh, oh, the J. I really <laughs> like the gym. Like <laughs> they just <laughs> fell for that hook, line, singer like this evil good. plant machine. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, this looks like something out of H.R. Geiger's notebook. Yeah. And, <laughs> and he had that workout outfit with those goggles. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to say it. Okay, I'm yeah. going to say it. <laughs> I, I thought Yusuke Amade, like, like the let's, uh, what was it, um, let's turn all the music they record here from this point on evil, yeah. <laughs> only gets beat because the, they literally have evil looking gym equipment yeah. on screen. <laughs> That's the best dream journal time. The Yusuke Amade one's actually pretty solid. It is pretty um, solid. Well, they're all planned. I think this one's yeah. pretty easy. Best monster. Oh, for, uh, for, uh, Princess Dream. Princess, Princess Dream, Dream was yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I liked her Dream a lot. She was great. She one on the cruise good, ship. Good the one on the cruise ship was pretty cool too. She sucks. She blew it. <laughs> no, well, I, she blew it, but her design was, was cool. Her design yeah, her was design cool. was fine. Yeah. But that's not his monster. That's one of Barrel's that's personal true. monsters. Which I. That is a weird way to phrase that, but I guess Barrel. Yeah, yeah. but he like had his own. He's a general. He has his own troops well, and his own soldiers. Yeah, I guess I. Had, you know, I. Now it's like a time I'm like really like looking at this like. I almost sit down and look at this as a kid, but then again, it's like, oh yeah, no, they have a hierarchy. Like, yes, they, they totally do. They for sure do. And she's very, um, she's very good about this. And even your basic monsters, even though the it, it, the first couple episodes they just kind of scream and attack, they are sentient. They so he fell off towards sentient. the end, but our boy Jedi, you know, he, he had a good run. Pour one out. He had a good uh, run. Oh my god, yeah. We'll never forget you, Jedi. Can't wait to see how we're one up this. <laughs> It's a doozy. To one up him in the heart, there's only a couple that pop in mind. There's Nephrite. Well, um, maybe not. Nephrite's, Nephrite's, like, Nephrite's like his big brother. Yeah. yeah. Like I feel like they were the closest. Yeah. Like for friend sure. wise. So I, f- I feel like they're best friends, Nephrite and Jedi. So uh, yeah. you'll see a lot of Jedi isms yeah. in Nephrite's and, and plans. Unfortunately for me, I'm thinking about moments, not characters. So, oh, oh, you'll yeah. get moments. Don't oh, worry yeah. about it. Oh, you'll get moments. I'm but, angry. Uh, I, I, oh gosh. I, I, I really like um, Tiger's Eye. Oh, uh, I that love boy Tiger's has Eye. got some stuff. Oh, we'll, we'll uh, get we'll get to Tiger's Eye, but I love Tiger's and Eye. And Rubius. Rubius is yeah. a dumb himbo too. Is great too. <laughs> They're all great. That's <laughs> another one yeah. of my boys. The, the yes, whole James Amazon loves trio Rubius is okay. ding dang himbo. Yeah, if you're asking for like uh, this first arc here, best yeah. monster, Princess Dream. Not only like I'm not gonna say you can't go wrong with a puppet boss or a oh, puppet man. enemy, but she's like, so good. She even got like a kind of long animation. Like it was yeah. like that's so far pretty rare mm-hmm. uh, for your not main monsters. Well, let's rip off the band-aid. Um, where do we want to rate this one? Very high. It's very good. Do we want to put it above? So one our of the current our so current it's... order is yes. Number <laughs> one is the pilot. Number two is Taylor Morris's episode. Number three is Mercury. Number four is the Dreamland episode. Yeah. Nine is the clocks. Yeah. The, the Luna-shaped clock. Huh. 
Oh, and that's not nine. One, two, three, four. It's episode nine. Two, three, four. Episode. That's number five. Hmm. So number six is the bats and the use game mod episode. Why is the Num- clock so high? You, I like already forgot what happened in that episode. <laughs> <laughs> number seven is the DJ, the radio yep. episode. Yeah. Eight is the fortune teller episode. I, the one that was. Uh, I think we can stop. Band. Just, I put it high. We we stop here. Okay. I'll, I'll put it high up. Let's let's work with the, the um, upper one. So probably under Mercury. I think under Mercury. Oh, is it better than Dreamland? I. Dreamland well, is I like, really I good. Like, I like Princess Stream as an enemy. But Dreamland is a great episode. They have the illusions. They have the park. You have Apple. The apps is better the than The boy Dreamland. getting turned sat on a bear, I guess. <laughs> hey, you broke the, the Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> the Panda Express. Look, I'm just saying as far as like pure enjoyment. That's true. I, I would put this the new number one, but that's oh. my opinion. <laughs> well, we all have to agree Ooh. in the census, and I don't know, but number one... Over a moon star is born. Oh. Mm. Although I am sick of episode one because we see it in every iteration we can't of the show. That's a personal it's feeling. A good it's episode. Not a... Yeah. How many times are we gonna kill Uncle Ben? <laughs> three. <laughs> We're many... gonna get our Jack and Jewels three times. I feel like it needs to be a drink we make next time this episode rolls around. <laughs> Jack, and Jack and Jules. Jules. We'll make a drink. Like, like a sparkling, time we have to, like... The next time we have to watch this, ep- this like episode. Like maybe like um, a Jack Daniels mix with a champagne somehow. Like a, like a glimmer. Either, in, no, either no. in Crystal or in the live action, we'll no, make, gonna, a, I'll, I'll make, we'll make a drink. I'll make Jack and Jules. <laughs> I got 200 episodes to make we Jack and Jules. We will consult a professional before I have any mixed drinks. Was it bartender? <laughs> I was. I was a bartender for three years. Okay. Sorry, Harrison tells me lies much of the day. No, this one's a truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is it? No, this one's a truth. Stop, James. <laughs> this one is a truth. I, I was a bartender for a while. Okay. Um, and then, you know, bad things happened. Um, I vote... Mm-hmm. What do you think? I, we can put I, it on I think it's number four. I don't know if it's number one. What number do you think, James? James? I, I mean, in is fairness, it, I haven't been here for all of them. Mm. Uh, yeah. True. All right, we'll keep it between. Is it better than a Senshi introduction? Oof. Yeah. Because the Mars one is good. Yeah. You had Tuxedo Mask flying the, the, a the bus. bus. Yeah. And, you know, I, and he yeah. tied the other buses to the bus and flew it out of another dimension. <laughs> yeah, and he was just in the bus. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that makes. I guess that seals the deal that we're ranking these based on fun and not plot importance. Well, well plot importance helps. we want to rank them, basically. <sighs> Plot is Tuxedo helps, Mask but... and a flying bus just appearing out of nowhere? I had more fun with this episode. It's a You're saying it's a better meme than Arthur. Hands or worse. down. This episode <laughs> was the best. <laughs> I had the most fun this viewing. This I, is a good episode. I, I, do we want to put it in number one? I'm only one vote. That's I, my vote. <laughs> I, I might put it at number two. John Ossoff. Maybe. Number two? Okay. Kelly? Mm. I, I might think it's a number one for me, okay. but um, I, I I feel like you guys are. Happy I'm feeling that. three. Ish. Okay. Yeah, maybe. That, Although that's over the pilot and uh, the Sailor Moon episode and the Mars episode. So it'd be right under the Mars introduction. Yeah, it'd be over, yeah, okay. over the Mercury episode. Also, I'm enjoying Mercury a lot more than I usually do. <laughs> it's just maturity. I'm, I'm liking M- Mercury a lot more than I usually do. And that's good, because Mercury is usually my least favorite dinner, and if I can like her more, that's always a good thing. For sure. And, and yeah. this watch, I'm actually enjoying Mercury more. So we think we're going to put it at number three? Three, okay. How yeah, number three? You think? Um, yeah. Plain Drain. Okay. And I'm sure we'll have something for this. Oh, I'm sure we'll have a name for it. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, Kelly, what's All up right. next? Up next, episode 14. Next is a good cry. <laughs> it's called A New Enemy Appears, Nephrite's Evil Crest. Or the English translation is Match Point for Sailor Moon. So Ew. Ten- tennis? That just... <laughs> <No>, one sucks. <laughs> yeah, usually the English ones have been pretty consistently good, but, but this no, one... No, this one kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it, anyway, if we know we're getting long. we know that we're getting yeah. next right next time. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's all we got that, pretty much. Oh yeah. gang, okay, uh, we'll see you next time. Oh my god. James, okay. do you have Oh uh, uh, yes. Sailor yeah. Moon says if your minion tells you they know who the who the Sailor Sinchi <laughs> are, don't kill them. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you should probably listen to it's, them. It's where he's not dead. Place. He was put to sleep. Yeah, Sun Tzu would give uh, Queen Barrel a real tongue lashing. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Goodbye. everybody. I'm too late to make Queen Barrel the worst. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Michael editing for the Pretty Guardian podcast. Thanks for listening, and we'd love to hear from you. Our email is prettyguardianpodcast at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter at SailorPGPCast. Our Tumblr is prettyguardianpodcast.tumblr.com. Go ahead and send us a message and keep the conversation open. I'm having a lot of fun running through this old gem of a show, personally, and I look forward to seeing it through to the end. Take care now.